With only days to go, energy and emotions are running high. In the balance is a country at a crossroads and a people deeply divided on its future. We want to be a democratic country with rule of law, but this election will not be easy. There is a massive economic crisis. Our main goal is the survival and unity of Turkey. Erdogan is a world leader. We're glad to have him. Images of Recep Tayyip Erdogan are plastered on nearly every street corner. But victory for the president is far from guaranteed. Critics say during two decades in power, he's overseen a collapsing currency and eroded rights and freedoms. Do the parties in the opposition alliance say no to these LGBT people? My party has never been pro-LGBT and never will be. His main opposition challenger, Kemal Kilic Daroglu, is ahead in the polls. If elected, he's promised to reverse Mr Erdogan's heavy-handed economic policies and restore democracy. We will bring Turkey into the light. Together with unity, we will bring democracy, enlightenment, abundance and peace to this country. It's a very critical election because we have very limited checks and balances. And if the opposition cannot unseat Erdogan in this election, uh, there will not be any other possibility in the near future to do so. And the country will become even more authoritarian. For the first time in a long time, Mr Erdogan faces a real challenge to his reign and his opponents aren't about to miss that opportunity. Now, whatever the outcome of the election, it'll reverberate throughout Europe, the US and Russia, as well as shape Turkey for many years yet to come. Voters in the South could play a decisive role in choosing the winner. Many here blame the government for an inadequate response to the earthquakes in February that killed more than 50,000 people and left millions homeless. This ship in the city of Iskanderan only has room for a thousand of them. We lost our relatives. They were helpless when they died and we don't want anyone to forget it. The government's help was really lacking. If no candidate gets 50% of the vote, it will go to a runoff later in the month. In an election that could shape the country forever. Tom Joyner, ABC News, Istanbul.